I build this AI chatbot running completely locally on my computer. All your data remains private. Using a powerful open source tool called Nexa XDK. Run any AI model on any backend. That is a bold statement. But here you see the result. Nexa SDK supporting neural processing unit, MLX, full multimodal support, cross-platform, one line to run, OpenAI compatible API. So when compared with Olama, Olama doesn't support MLX yet. It doesn't support NPU and doesn't support full modality such as audio. Nexa, Infer and the model name to run any model locally on your computer. Just few lines of code to build your AI chatbot with a built-in server and currently it is popular and I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this locally on your computer, download the available models, create a chatbot and integrate this model with this application using Nexa SDK. I'll provide all the code in the description below for you to try that and that's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. And thanks to Nexa AI for sponsoring this video. Nexa SDK, run the latest LLMs and VLMs across GPU, NPU, CPU, and mobile. Run AI models 100% local for free. And this is the developer toolkit for running any AI model locally across NPUs, GPUs, and CPUs powered by Nexa ML engine. Entirely built from scratch by Nexa team. It supports GGUF and MLX which most of the other SDK doesn't support. Even the latest Quen3 VL 4B and 8B can be run using this. Now just going to run one line of command and download Quen3, the latest model, in GGUF format and then clicking enter. That will automatically download the model and load it for me. This is a vision language model. So I can drag any image here and ask, what is this? And that can read the image and in that image, it says Visual Studio Code AI Test Automation. Let's verify that. So this is the image I uploaded and that is correct. Similarly, you got various models for various tasks, including speech recognition. Download Nexa CLI with one click. So I'm using macOS ARM64. So going to click that. It also supports Windows or Linux. So you can download accordingly. So for now, I'm going to click ARM64, it got downloaded now. I'm just opening it, clicking continue to install. Now it's installing and that is all done. Now step number two, open your terminal from your computer. There I'm going to type Nexa Infer and then the model name like this and then click enter. This will automatically download this model. Now it's similar to Olama and you can ask any question. How are you? And it's going to give me the answer. Similarly, I've got various options here in the CLI such as loading the conversation, saving the conversation, audio for transcription. You find me using audio model, such as Whisper, but you can try that here. And I've got clear and exit options. So for now, I'm going to exit from here. So the test worked. Step number three, I need to start the server. To start the server is simple. Nexa, serve, and then click enter. And here you can see local hosting on this URL. Now the server is on. So I'm just going to open this URL. And here is that URL. The server is running with all these endpoints, which means now we can build application and talk to this AA model directly from our application. You can even create multiple AA agents to interact with this. For now, we are going to create one chatbot with one agent. So I'm going to keep this terminal running and going to open a new terminal by clicking this plus icon. Next step, I need to install the required package. So pip install. OpenAI and Chainlet. OpenAI is the main package which we are going to use to create the application to talk to Nexa AI and Chainlet is for creating the user interface. After this, click enter and it got installed now. Now I'm going to create a file called app.py and then open it. Inside the file from OpenAI, import OpenAI, next client equals OpenAI and this is the URL which we got before and the API key, just a random API key. Next. Client chat completions create with the model name which we have just downloaded with a system message. You are helpful assistant and the user message. Give me a meal plan for me today. So this is the task which I'm going to give to this AI model and you can give any other task similar to this. So after this, I'm going to print the response and that's it. Just few lines of code 
and you have created a chatbot using Python. Now I'm going to run this code. Going back to your terminal, I'm going to type Python app.py and then click enter. It's going to give me the meal plan. And here is the answer. General meal plan for a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So that's all done. Now the response appeared at once. So it waited for around 10 seconds and everything came at once. But the user friendly way is to display in a streaming way as and when it gets generated. So I'm going to modify this code slightly. So here I'm going to mention stream equals true, then printing the response one by one in this loop. So this automatically prints step by step. So this is the overall code and that's it. Now I'm going to run this, coming back to my terminal, same like that Python stream.py. That's where I've stored my code. Now you can see it's slowly getting printed out in a user friendly way. And that is really nice. Next, I need to create a user interface for this chatbot because currently it's running in the terminal. Again, I'm going to slightly modify this code. This time I'm using chainlet. Import chainlet as CL with the base URL as the same, the model name. So here two decorator you need to remember. One is on chat start. When the chat starts, you're going to tell the AI model or you can even use this to save your message history. So that's whenever you load the page. So whenever you type a message, so that's when on message. So that message will be sent to client chat completions.create. So before we hard coded our question here, but now we are passing it dynamically and printing out the response same as before, step by step and saving the message history. So it knows the context. That's it, only few lines of code and our user interface is ready. Now I'm going to run this code. Coming back to my terminal, I'm going to type chainlit run ui.py and then click enter. Now I can see the app is running in this URL. So I'm going to open this URL and here is the URL. This is how it looks. So here I'm going to type, give me a meal plan for me today. And now it's generating me the response. And this is really nice. And now we have successfully built a chatbot running completely local on your computer using Nexa SDK. And all your data remains private. Even you can upload a data and ask question based on that. As simple as that. Implementing RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation using Nexa. RAG involves two different steps. First step, when you upload a data or any private document or PDF, automatically it will get divided into chunks. Then it's converted to embeddings and stored that in the database. Embeddings are nothing but numbers which is used to understand the similarity. And the step number two, when the user asks a question, the relevant information is searched in the database semantically and sent to the large language model. That is our AI chatbot. And it is going to respond more accurately considering it has the context or the information about the private data. So this is exactly what we're going to do. For database, we are going to use vector database, that is chroma DB to store these vectors. For Embeddings, we are using all mini LM. So I've just modified the code, just added the embedding model to convert to embeddings and imported Chroma DB to store the vector data and PDF reader to convert the PDF into text. For each function, such as for embedding, I created a function got get embedding. For dividing that text into chunks, I created a function called chunk text. If you want to know more about chunking strategy, I'll put the link in the description below. As we see here, when the user uploads the data, it need to divide it into chunks. So that's what we see here in the UI. We are uploading a file. That file gets converted to text using the PDF reader. Next, it's divided to chunks. Same like as shown in the image. Next, it's going to get stored in the Chroma database. So here is Chroma DB. So to add each chunk, I'm adding that like this, going through chunk one by one adding collection.add to add each chunk. And that is the first step. So that is when you start the chat. So step number two, on message. That is when the user is going to ask a question. So that question will be searched from the vector database. So it's querying the vector database to find the top three results. Then that information is passed as context with the chat history to the AI model using chat.completions.create same as the previous step. And we are going to get 
more accurate answer. So that's all it is. Just two different steps. And now I'm going to run this code. So coming back to my terminal, additionally, I need to install PyPDF to convert PDF to text, then Chroma DB as a vector database, sentence transformers. That's for using the embedding model and then click enter. Now it all got installed. Chain lead run rag.py and then click enter. Rag.py is the file where I've stored my content. First, it's loading the embedding model. Then I can access the application in this URL. So I'm going to open this URL and here's the application. So I can open a file. It's a file about agentic AI and it got uploaded. Indexed 12 chunks. You can now ask questions. I'm going to ask, tell me what is written in this IBM file. Now it started processing. At the back end, you can see automatically all those chunks getting converted to embeddings and getting stored to a vector database. And the answer is here. Summary of the text provided. And that is really nice. This is the Rag chatbot. I recently came across this Nexa SDK and I'm really impressed with that. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.